The San Diego Association of Governments, or SANDAG's $200 billion regional transportation plan was supposed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and improve transportation in the county. But a San Diego court rejected the plan. Here to explain what went wrong is Jack Shu, board president of the Cleveland National Forest Foundation. Thank you so much for talking with us about this. Your organization sued SANDAG um, over what? Uh, if I could start out by saying we really are thankful for that Attorney General Kamala Harris and two incredible Deputy uh, uh, Attorney Generals um, intervened in this case and did a fabulous job together with our, our attorneys. And they intervened uh, sort of what are the bullet points of what the problem was? They agreed with, with our assertion that their plan did not meet the California Environmental Quality Act, that, that they did not meet the law with regards to uh, telling our community what the impacts of this plan is. The plan specifically, as you said, failed to uh, reduce emissions over a long period of time. How did SANDAG uh, overlook this or get this so wrong? Well, they met kind of skimmingly, uh, or just barely, uh, certain um, marks. That's for the year 2020 and 2035, meeting some parts of state law. What they failed to meet is the Governor Schwarzenegger's executive order going into 2050. Let's, let's take a look at what you're talking about. Now, this chart is from SANDAG themselves. And what we're looking at here that where you said the 2020, that's where everything sort of lines up for green gas, uh, greenhouse gas emissions. But then you see, I, I think at 2050, this giant gap where emissions are supposed to drop, but the blue line goes up. And uh, SANDAG themselves are predicting their emissions will um, will actually increase by 2050. Has, can you tell us what? Yeah, that's a good question. What were they thinking of? <laughs> what, what, what were the mayors and the board of supervisors thinking of when they approved this plan over a year ago? Well, what did they say? What did they say in court? Did they? Well, they said, well, it, it did meet the, the, the goals for 2020, 2035. You know, and actually, sadly, it meets those goals in their modeling because there's going to be re there's recession, because we have uh, cars that emit less. Essentially, did not develop a transportation plan to deal with global uh, global warming or uh, climate change issues. They essentially. Um, so we're going to keep on doing what we have what to do. Exa exactly what we're doing. Well, we, we tried to reach out to, we did reach out to SANDAG and they did decline to be on the program, but they did issue a statement that says, in part, we stand behind the plan and its environmental impact report. The plan was approved by the California Air Resources Board, the California Department of Transportation, and U.S. Department of Transportation. How were all of these organizations able to approve this plan when it didn't meet emission requirements? Well, they met certain parts of, of the laws that they control. But overall, you know, the, the main issue here is uh, our leaders, our communities need to know uh, what this plan is about and what it will do for San Diego. And they fail to meet those uh, issues. And, uh, and that's part of what the CEQA is about. And, and part of it was that they're, you know, really strong on North County freeways, not so strong on public transportation and other neighborhoods. You contributed some ideas to uh, the SANDAG plan. What were they and did they incorporate any of them? Well, for years, this is nothing new for SANDAG. For the past seven years, we've been there at hearings providing written testimony saying, look, your plan does not meet uh, state law. And worse than that, it is not the best thing for San Diegans. We can provide a better economy if we move towards transit. How would you change this plan to make it acceptable? Well, in fact, we have a proposal, proposal called the 5010 plan. One can find it. The 50 after. 5010 plan. Mm -hmm. And the 5010 plan, we actually borrowed the name from Los Angeles, which is 3010. Um, let's build what San Diego is already planning to do for the next 50 years, but do it in the next 10 years. Let's accelerate it. So we, well, that's not a big change in their policy. Um, and you can find that plan at, uh, at transitsandiego.org. Why, why would accelerating building freeways help reduce gas emissions? Or how, how would accelerating something that's supposed to take 50 years into 10 years help? No, I'm sorry. Uh, let's accelerate what SANDAG is planning for transit development. I understand. Let's build a working network of transit within the urban core as well as the coaster and sprinter and other outlets. So let's make that system work. Let's accelerate that portion of their plan. 
Right, start with the transportation plan and then right. move on from there. Well, Sandag, uh, will, the board will meet tomorrow to discuss this ruling. So uh, I will be following up with you and them absolutely on that. So Jack Shu, thanks so much for explaining all this to us. Thank you for having me here.